<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Neostar here. And today I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can increase the health of your computer and speed it up. Alright, so I'm going to ask at the start, please guys, rate, subscribe, send me comments, messages, and basically give me any new ideas for videos that you want to see up and I will try and get them up as fast as possible obviously subscribing and sending comments is gonna get them up faster than me assuming what you want so please do that but today I'm going to be showing you four different methods that you can use to speed up or increase the health of your computer so first off open up a command prompt and type in msconfig this will open up system configuration so you're going to want to hit start up. This list shows you everything that will run on startup of your account or system. So anything you unclick is basically going to be saving your computer from doing a lot of work. As you can see, I've unclicked everything I don't need. Basically this is going to save your computer RAM and make it pretty much do less work than it normally would second method would be uninstalling programs and systems which you do in control panel head over to programs and features and here your computer will compile a list of everything installed on your computer as you can see I don't have too much installed but if you see any programs that you don't use or need anymore uninstall them as in the future leftover pieces of it may become fragmented which I will talk about later on in the video if you can wait that long okay third method now this is to really speed up your computer this method so if your computer is fast enough probably don't need to do this but right click your main hard drive and hit properties once you're on this screen, you'll see Disk Cleanup. Once you click this, your system will calculate all the space that your computer can free up by deleting temporary files. As you can see, it may take a couple of seconds. And this will benefit you as your computer will have less on the system in its local cache, meaning basically you can do things faster than you would normally have to do as the system isn't storing this temporary data anymore here you go, here's the list of all the temporary stuff that I don't need, as you can see recycling bin, 22.6 gigabytes sometimes people can forget to empty a recycling bin leading to a build up of memory as you can see I'm wasting 22.7 gigabytes of my memory here so all I'd have to do to empty this is tick everything because none of this is needed but tick everything here and then just click clean up system files I'm not going to do this right now because 22.7 gigabytes would take a long time and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch all the way through that so I'm just going to go ahead and close this another thing that you can do on here is compress this drive to save disk space. What that will do is it will basically compress everything on your C drive and free up a ton of space. As you can see I've done it. I did have only 500 gigabytes free and somehow it's managed to free up an extra 92 gigabytes of space. So I don't know how effective that will be on your computer. might not be as effective. Please don't quote me on that. Right. Tip number four would be disk defragmentation. So you're going to want to type in defrag in the search bar and it will bring up disk defragmenter. Once you open this, you'll be brought to this screen. What you're going to want to do is click analyze and what this will do is this will analyze your main drive which is usually the C drive. I know some people change it and it will basically tell you how much of your system is fragmented so say you made a word document P 
pieces of coding could be scattered in other files where it isn't needed. And basically what this does is it analyzes it, tell you how much of your system is fragmented, and then you can defragment it, and then basically it will put all your files in a nice directory and keep them organized and keep all the coding where it's meant to be, all the files where they're supposed to be. Basically just a bit of spring cleaning for your computer. This surprisingly also speeds up your computer when searching through files, directories and places like that as everything is neat and where it's meant to be. It also saves the computer time when you search for a file or program in here. Meaning that if you've lost the file you can just type it in. The computer should take about five seconds to find it for you. Now I hope this has been a helpful guide for you guys. Please leave comments, subscribe to me, rate this video, like it. Most importantly though subscribe and definitely send me messages and comments with new ideas for my videos, criticism which will help me better myself and most of all I just want to say love you guys. See you next time. Neostar out.